Greetings everyone, Blue Goblin here. Thank you for watching my comic book review for this week in November 2010. Uh, once again, joined by my lovely girlfriend, Lenora 2003. Want to plug your channel, baby? You just did again. Aha. Uh -huh. Ha ha. <laughs> she loves picking on me. Go to her channel and subscribe. Uh, check out her videos, if you don't mind, please. I'm sure she'd appreciate that. Yeah. What are you doing, baby? Uh, nothing. Just playing with my camera. Okay. I guess she's going to film a video while I'm filming a video. Alright. Um, baby, can I please have my first comment book, please? Thank you. Uh -huh. Starting things off, like, like always, Amazing Spider-Man number 648. Yeah, that's a beautiful cover, isn't it? <laughs> uh, this is part one of Dan Slott's big story with uh, called Big Time. And I gotta say, this was good. Very, very good. Um, first of all, hey Dan, how you doing? I know you're subscribed to my channel. Um, and Dan, if you're watching, I gotta tell you, props to you. This is good stuff. Um... Let me see how I, I tried my best to review these books without potentially spoiling them. Uh, once again, Peter Parker goes through changes in his life. Some good, some bad. First, you got to go with the bad, then you got to go with the good. I gotta say, this the good sh the good shift in his life. It's kind of out of character with the whole Parker Luck thing. Uh, Humberto Ramos's artwork. I love it. It's it fits well. It's good storytelling. His artwork works well with Amazing Spider-Man, and it's good to see Spider-Man lead a team of Avengers uh, in a fight with uh, Doctor Octopus, uh, wreaking havoc on New York City. Uh, this was good. It's certainly worth three ninety nine in my opinion. Uh, a good start to a potentially good story. Hopefully, the rest of Big Time is done just like this. Uh, next one, please, honey. Here you go. Thank you. I love you. I love you, too. Okay. All right. Isn't she wonderful? Titans number 29. Oh, wow. This was this was better than I thought it was going to be. You know, you got Eric Wallace writing it, uh, and uh, Fiorentino, uh, Fiorentino on uh, artwork. I hope I pronounced that right. But here we go. Once again, another round, another round between Dick Grayson and Deathstroke. That's old school for me. That's that's a throwback to the '80s when Deathstroke was making his debut in DC Comics. You know, him and Dick Grayson have a history, and it it, it sparkles in this book. Sparkle. <laughs> Very funny. No, we're not talking about no Twilight bullshit sparkle. We're talking about a. A, a sparkle that's reminiscent of nostalgia and you know it's it's basically it's it's Dick Grayson versus Destro but you know this time Dick's taking it up a step he's learning how to fight dirty while they're in Arkham Asylum it's great I mean it's all you need to know it's it's uh, it's it's an old school fight between uh, with an old-fashioned rivalry from the past culminating in a modern day story inside Arkham Asylum and it's it's been great I mean ever since Titans went in this direction it's been good it's been really good I've been very pleasantly surprised next up <laughs> sorry three things at once hello to the world <laughs> All right. <laughs> making them noises Red Robin number 17 I'm sorry, I'm doing like 12 things at once here, okay? Just keep going. My baby loves to multitask. Okay, on to Red Robin. Um, this is... Um, this is a solid story. A solid issue. Uh, Fabian, this is uh, Marcus II. Uh, good team up together to present us with this story. Uh, we... Uh, once again, uh, Grace with the presence of Cassandra Kane, a former Batgirl. It's good to know where she, what she's been up to here lately. And um, I don't know, there's something that happens between her, uh, her and Tim 
in this issue that makes me feel as though Tim still has not accepted Stephanie Brown as bad girl, which makes Tim look like a little bit of, just a little bit of a prick. Uh, but still, it's it's a, it's another solid issue of Red Robin. You know, you got a reuniting between uh, Bruce and Tim at the end of this book, which is, uh, I guess you can call it poetic from a Batman standpoint. But um, yeah, it's it's okay. It's it's good for what it is. I if you've been collecting Red Robin ever since issue one, like I have, then go ahead and pick it up. If you're not collecting Red Robin, or if you just are a casual reader, you might not need it. But if you if you're a big fan of the Batman universe, it's well worth your two ninety nine. Next up, honey. Speaking of the Batman family, we're going on to Batgirl. Batgirl number fifteen. Here, let's get a better look at that. There you go. All right, uh, Brian Q. Miller, once again, writing Batgirl phenomenally well. Uh, this is not quite as good as the Bruce Wayne Road Home one shot that featured Batgirl, but it was still good for what it was. I loved the <laughs> little cartoon imaging at the beginning of the book. Like, first it started with Bruce. Bruce became Batman. Batman found Dick. Dick became Robin. Robin became Nightwing. Jason became a. Uh, Jason became Robin. Blew up. Went crazy. Blah 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 blah. The list goes on and on, leading up to Stephanie Brown being Batgirl. It's it was cute, sharp. It was cute yet to the point. Very good. Um, uh, Batgirl supposedly gets framed for a murder, and that's uh, and there's some freaky cult going around, and that's basically all this issue was. It was a simple little story. It's a simple beginning to a possibly simple story, yet it's still well written. Artwork is good. Uh, that's really all I can say, in all honesty, in all fairness. All right. Next up, uh, Batman: Return of Bruce Wayne, number six, and um, hey, baby, you smell that? Yeah. What is that smell? Hang on just a minute, everybody. This. I think, um... Hang, hang. What's that in your hand? Wait a minute, hold on. That smell... My God, it's this book! It's shit! Okay. Smells like piss. Smells like piss. Piss with ink. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Next up, baby. All right, Justice League Generation Lost number 13. Oh boy, did this take a step up. <laughs> this is a ser Talk about a pendulum series. I mean, it, this series started off so epically good, and it was on the rise to being one of DC's best-going stories so far this day and age, and then it swooped down, come back, came back up, swooped back down, now it's coming back up. That's... Ex that's exactly my point. It is. It's like a roller coaster. But right now, we're on a slope going up. You know, we got Magog versus Captain Adam here. You know, Captain Adam, of course, is uh, hesitant to fight, and um, which kind of seems out of character for how I've been reading Captain Adam here lately. But um, this was shockingly good. Uh, Maxwell Lord. What a son of a bitch, you know. Uh, but he, that that's how DC loves to write him, and you know he, um, you know, Lord always believes that he's doing this for the the greater good, you know, regardless of how the consequences make him look. And you know, you got Booster Gold and Blue Beetle together, you know, dealing with all the bullshit going on in this book. But this was stunning. <laughs> What happens in this book just blew me. <laughs> uh, young lady, don't make me take my belt off. Ooh, you promise? Oh yeah, you know I promise. Can't get it. Can't get it. Just wait till I turn this camera off. Giggity! Look at that big grin on your face. I love you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <sighs> <laughs> you see what I gotta put up with? <laughs> That's my baby. But uh, okay, 
this was good. A, a very shocking, very shocking development in in this series. There you go. That's what I was trying to say while putting up with her. Aw, but Puddin, you know you love me. I do love you. <laughs> Aw, Puddin. I love you so much. Now give me my pick of the week. Love you too, Puddin. <laughs> pick of the week goes to Birds of Prey number six. <sighs> Let's try and keep this family oriented, okay, honey? Then again, let's not. No. <laughs> okay. Birds of Prey number six was my pick of the week. Um, yeah, it shocked me too. But then again, Gail Simone wrote this, so I'm not really that shocked. Oh, uh, wow. Uh, <laughs> I'll grow up, will you? Nope. Don't tickle the feet. I'm going to kick your butt later on. <laughs> yeah, you wish. Okay. <laughs> Let me finish my review, please. Okay. All right, first of all, number six, pick of the week. Gail Simone writes and writes it incredibly. This is this, in my opinion, is the best issue of Birds of Prey that's out so far. Why is because it had me second guessing myself while reading it. <laughs> I'm going to strangle you, woman. And <laughs> me second-guessing myself with a fight in here between Lady Shiva and Huntress. You know, I was thinking, okay, they're not going to kill anybody. But then when the fight started going on, I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Are they going to kill Huntress? Because, man, she gets her ass whooped in this book. I'm trying. I'm sorry if I'm, you know, spoiling it and everything. But, wow, she really takes a beating in this book and it almost looked one-sided at the beginning but it's this book was a a, a, a a very good reminder as to what friendship is and how well the birds friendship is bonded <laughs> together I didn't do anything I swear to God I swear remember I can still see you right here baby I'm not doing anything am I doing anything hello you're, ma you're making all kinds of noises back there baby How doll am I making noises? just play your game uh, what game I'm doing homework <laughs> okay all right, this was my pick of the week because it was awesome. There you go. Uh, t I'm spent. What? <laughs> what is with you? <laughs> what? I didn't do anything. We're gonna have an argument on camera. Cool. No. You're I'll cutting it short. You're cutting it really close there. I love you. I love you too. All right, let me go ahead and stop this. All right, thanks for watching again, everybody. Don't forget to uh, go by her channel if you dare subscribe. And I'm sure she'd appreciate it if you don't mind. Remember to check out comiccrazyreviews.webs.com. Check out stuff from me, from Mark, from Boston Type X, Fester. and from. Faster, faster, faster. And some stuff from Brandon X. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Until next time, I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.